I'm going to be installing the windows now as the trailer is ready for it. Um, I want to show you something. This is what they have for sealers on the windows and doors, roof fence. This is a putty that the RVs use and it is garbage. After a year of installing the window or whatnot, this stuff just dries out and it does make no seal. This is the standard. It's a butyl RV tape that is used nowadays and I see so many people using silicone and this old putty and it. it is just garbage. This butyl tape as you can see over here I've just put it on the large window but it it is a softer sealer and um, it literally it'll last you for years on your windows and doors and whatnot and you have to push it down quite firmly so it adheres to the window but this is the stuff you want to use anyways it costs you more money but in the long run it prevents anything from leak leaking and you don't want leaks in RVs and that is the main death of any RV when you get a leak you're hooped because that's where you run into problems so I just thought I'd point that out and um, okay catch you next one bye This is the 110 volt input I'm going to be putting in the sidewall. Uh, this will connect up to the pl main plug. And I have this, ex this other 110 wired into that. That will be going on the inside of the trailer on the closet side. Because um, when I don't have power outside, I can plug the other external cable into my voltage inverter that runs off the battery system if I need 110 volt okay bye
I I just installed that white pipe that I had made in the pictures. Now that goes down through the floor. It is silicone on the inside down at the bottom and then up at the top I've siliconed it. I don't know if you can see that, but it does uh, go right through. Yeah, there you can see it goes right through in the daylight underneath the showing through. But anyways, that is going to be the trailer wiring. I do not want to mount any wiring on the frame of the trailer. Um, and that will come up through and then back to the, all the lights. I am also have it in that position because the drain for the water tank will be right there to drain off the water when I'm not using it and also the heavy duty 12 volt um, battery charging wires that come from the truck will also come up through there and go in hook up to the battery because batteries they sealed type battery which does not have to be vented legally and that battery box I will be placing right down there in that corner thus the wires can run into that and then it will come up here another 12 volt negative and positive up which will have the 12 volt fuse panel and hook up into all that stuff and the solar charge controller I've got a I'm putting a another one of those pipes up through the roof here to bring the wires in from the 200 watt solar panels up that will be up on the roof okay catch you next one bye Good day. Uh, wiring is all done for all the lights now. Um, as you can see, it's all labeled. We got it all, everything's labeled here. And that is for the brake, running lights, reverse lights, signal lights, and then it branches over here same thing on this side and running lights are up front uh, this here is the common ground that I cross over and the lights over the door jam has a big metal frame that will actually sit right over top of that and hide that wiring Man, what a mess in here um, so here's where it comes up through the floor of the wires. Red and black are the charge wires for the battery from the truck. And then that's the running lights for the tail lights. This here is that there is the um, tail light converter. Separates a two wire system to a three wire. So that has a separate left and right turn signal and a separate brake light adapted there comes through the wall goes through there and down in through there and the bathroom floor another two by, by two is going up on top of that because I'm raising that doorway that much and that'll be it for the wiring. Okay, bye.